Are there surges of adrenaline that you feel or emotion in a course of a game? And like, you know, Boston scores like a minute nine into it that you, that, that it just kicks in, you do just kick it into another gear almost. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, it's a game, you know, I mean, it's a, uh, emotional game so there's so many emotions that go on during a during a hockey game and uh, sometimes you need to control it and channel it to something positive and sometimes you need to uh, you know let uh, yourself get a little pissed off and and sometimes that uh, works for your game and, and everyone's different but um, you know I, I go through a lot of emotions in the game absolutely were you really pissed off at that moment last night then no no I was I it was more of a uh, driven just wanted to, to get the puck and, and put it in the net um, how important was that victory I mean you know you have to win one before you can win two uh, Vegas tomorrow and then you go out on the west coast yeah it's it's huge um, just to get that the way we play it too is the is the uh, the uh, way we need to play, and it was uh, an emotionally, uh, you know, high victory, and, and we uh, we need to channel that into tomorrow night. And tomorrow night's a new game. We're not gonna uh, just because we won last game doesn't mean uh, anything is for granted tomorrow night. So we're gonna have to come out with the same uh, intensity and same energy we did last night. Robbie Fabre already in the Red Wing history books, first Red Wing ever in his debut to score two power play goals. Uh, you talk about the element and what he brings, and we I guess we saw it last night. Yeah, he, uh, well, he makes plays. He's a skilled guy. Um, and I think uh, he's a guy that, given opportunity, he's going to make plays, and he's going to be an impact player in this league. So he's going to get that here, and, and we're thrilled to have him. And he fits well into our locker room, and um, you know, pretty uh, pretty special night for him to, to uh you know, come here and, and get uh, familiar with the guys and uh, not the easiest situation to come into with our, our circumstances before the game and, and what had been going on the, the past, but that's the past and, and he made a statement for the, for the future. Okay, thank you. Can you just talk about tomorrow really quick and how do you uh, shut down Vegas and continue the special team success for you guys? Wow. <laughs> Why don't you just sit down on your stool here? Right? Down. It's a fireside <laughs> chat we're gonna have. Uh, yeah, Vegas four check hard, so we're gonna have to find a way to counter that and get the puck out of our zone fast. So um, they have a, a fast team and, and they play hard, so uh, we're gonna have to match that. And, and it's a, a home game for us. We we seem to match up well against them, so uh, we're gonna have to bring it to them to from the start. Hey Dylan, you like uh, you had to like the way Veronic stands up for himself. The young guys not taking any, you know, yeah. any, any abuse from the guys who are noted for dishing out abuse. And what does that do for the rest of the team when you see the guys scrapping like that? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, I think uh, um, it was clear that that line was frustrated and. Uh, Phil and uh, Nemo were going against them all night and, and didn't give them much. So uh, that's the way he has to play, and uh, he's, he's willing to play like that. And I think it's great to see as a um, you know, young player coming in to, to our lineup and, and make an impact in all, uh, all facets of his game. So he, uh, he battles every night, and he makes uh, smart plays with the puck. And, and uh, you know, to, to see him set the tone for, uh, for the future against uh, uh, Marchand and, and that line and, and not backing down. It, it uh, you know, it's hopefully every time we play those guys, we get them off the off their game because that helps our team. You think you opponents don't realize it, but he's that type of guy. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't say he's that type of guy. Um, I think he's a guy that's a, a hockey player. He's willing to do anything to to, to help the team and, and help us. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of a hockey player. Honestly, they got tied up and. Marshawn clearly was frustrated with with how the night been going and not getting any offense and uh, it's tough when you always have a, a defender right there and uh, little cross checks which I think Phil does a great job of and um, it's a uh, you know, it's hard to play against so the frustration was there and I think he just did a great job standing up for himself. So you kind of hit it on the head there. That's what you need more of being hard to play against and kind yeah. of brings that element. Yeah, absolutely, he does. Um, uh, you know, I think when you looked at our wins this season, we, we've been extremely hard to play against, and uh, we haven't given up many chances. We've been good on the on the special team, so uh, you know, being hard to play against is all over the ice, and, and it's uh, uh, you know mentally hard. And, and you know, as a as a player who wants to have an easy night myself and have the puck a lot, 
when you have someone cross-checking you and being there all night pestering you, it's it's a uh, it's the most frustrating thing.